If you've seen any videos on my channel, you know I like to keep things simple. But in all that simplicity, it's actually pretty easy to get lost in the weeds. In this video, I raise the hood and I show you how I keep myself productive while keeping things simple. I've learned, at least for me, that if the system is easy to use, I'll use it, and if it's complicated, I won't. A lot of you've asked how I do things, and in this video, I answer that question. Hi, my name is Rich. I make videos on how to use your iPhone and iPad without going nuts in the process. In other words, I keep things simple. I've always struggled with those videos that end up being the, you know, 37 easy steps on how to use Apple Notes. You know, what? 37 steps? That's not for me. Honestly, the older I get, the more I want to keep everything simple. And it's not that I don't want to learn new stuff. On the contrary, I'm learning new stuff all the time. It's just I don't want to use some complicated notes app when I can do it easier with a piece of paper and a pencil. Anyway, you get the idea. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use five simple apps to keep my life organized and productive. And it all boils down to a notes app, a calendar app, a task manager app, a contacts app, and of course, an email app. And as most of you know, I use the built-in Apple solutions for all of this, but I get that you might prefer a different app for one thing or the other, and I think you should use the app that works best for you. But for me, I've decided to stick with the Apple stuff. They all work together, they're free, and they're pretty easy to use. In other words, they meet my needs. Okay, let's take a look at how I use these apps. Okay, the first thing I want to talk to you about is the Notes app. And as I talk to you about these apps, this isn't a tutorial on how to use the apps. It's just showing you how I use the apps. I've got a bunch of videos showing you how to use the apps, and you can check those out. But today I'm going to start with the Notes app. It just seems like everything in my life comes back to that Notes app. So, on my iPad, when I tap on it, I have a whole series of folders that are over here. Um, you know, I use the PARA method, Projects, Areas, Resources, and Archives. And in the Projects folder, it just goes things, projects that I'm working on, stuff that has a beginning and then it has an end, and then it's over with. And then when I'm finished with the project, I just drag it into the Archives folder. Areas are things that kind of keep going on and on. For example, I keep track of software, you know, um, that sort of thing. And you can put anything in an area, uh, you know, literally anything that you want to put in there. And it's, But I, for me, it's just things that I tend to work on over and over. Now, normally, YouTube videos would be an area... But because I have so many things that I work with YouTube, I like to keep that folder handy. So I just keep it propped up here at the front. And I keep my ideas in there. I've got all the videos that I've ever made on all of the various topics in here as well. And so it's all there for me to use. I'm not doing a whole lot with Apple Notes on my phones, but I do need to, you know, jot down things from time to time. And so... Over on the left side, I keep some widgets, and I just keep uh, quick notes here. And I just tap on this folder. I've got some quick notes, and I can, you know, just take a quick note like this. And then I click Done. And now I've got that quick note in my quick notes folder. And when I'm out and about, you know, I'm not pulling open my notes app and doing a whole bunch of work with it. I'm just capturing some information when I'm on the go. That's how I use it. But when I get back, of course, the quick note will show up in my quick notes on my iPad, and I can just put it where I want to in the various folder structure in the apps. But I do keep a lot of information in my notes app. It's just a handy thing to do, and I can quickly access it. Again, I can access it from my iPhone, too. So if I'm out on the road and I need to get a little piece of information, maybe, maybe travel information or something like that, I can get to it pretty quickly. I just don't use my uh, iPhone to type big, long notes. I just capture quick notes on it. 
And that's how I use the Notes app. And it's really handy and it just, you know, helps me keep things organized. Okay, the next thing that helps me stay organized and be productive is the Calendars app. And I just keep it down here on the dock. And you can, uh, the way I have it laid out is in a month view and then a list of all the various appointments and things I have going on over here. And that's how I use it. You know, some people uh, keep their inbox open like that in case there are invitations, or maybe they keep the calendars open on the side that way. I don't do that. I just keep a list of everything there. Likewise, on the phone, I've got a widget here for my calendar, and I can just tap on it. Again, it's like this, but I tend to like it in list view so that I can just go through and see what's coming up day by day in my on my phone. And again, I don't enter a whole lot of data from my phone. If I do, if I'm making an appointment, I often just use Siri to tell Siri to, you know, schedule an appointment for me on a certain date and time. That way I'm not having to type all that little stuff on there. But that's a very simple approach to using the calendar. That's how I use it. Um, and it helps me keep track of the things that I need to keep track of. When I'm mobile, I've got my phone and I can see all my appointments. And when I'm home, I can pick up my iPad and put in more detail. All right, the next thing I want to show you is the Reminders app. You know, it's a real simple app. It's just a to-do list, but it's very handy for me. Uh, I can ask Siri to, you know, remind me to buy milk when I go to the grocery store, or I can put anything in there that I want. And I used to have a whole bunch of different lists over here, and it just got too unwieldy. It wasn't simple enough, and I thought, you know, I have tasks that I do around the house at home. I have tasks that I do for my job that's not on here, <laughs> but I do have my YouTube list on here, and I just you know, keep track of it that way. And I try to keep it as simple as I can. I look at the schedule and I can see the things that I have coming up. I've made a whole bunch of different videos on how I use the Reminders app. Uh, historically, I've just kept a list of Monday through Sunday and I just put in each day what the tasks are and I still do that from time to time. Right now I'm experimenting with just adding the date in on the task and then using the scheduled uh, widget to take a look and see what's here. And likewise on my phone I just keep a, a widget over here and I can just tap on it and get to my list of what's scheduled and what I have to do. I can take a look at my list there and of course they match up with the lists over on my iPad. And again, um, I don't typically enter a lot of information in my inbox uh, when I'm on the go, but occasionally I do if I'm out and about and I know I just remember a task that I need to do. I'll pick up my iPhone and type it in real quick or I'll ask Siri to remind me so that I don't have to type something. This is when I'm on the go and this is when I can come back and take a look at my iPad and put in a little more detail when I have time. And I usually take Maybe once or twice a week, I'll sit down with my iPad and just go through all the tasks that I have coming up and make sure everything's on there. And that way, it helps me be more productive. You know, the next app, uh, I tend to use actually quite a bit. It's my contacts app. Um, and I call people and I go places and, you know, the more contacts I get in there, uh, the, the better, really, for me. Um, I can't remember phone numbers and addresses and all that sort of stuff. So I, I keep all of that in the Contacts app and I keep it down here in my dock on my iPad. It's not something that I visit all the time, but it allows me to keep track of my friends and my family and that sort of thing. And I can get directions to places and I keep restaurants and different lists in here. I've got a family list, a friends list, and a restaurant list. And I can just tap on any one of those and, you know, get to anything that I want like that. And I keep it over here too as a as a widget. This is a shortcut widget because I don't like the uh, widget that comes with it, but I made one in shortcut, so I just tap it and it just opens up my list and I can search for whoever I want to uh, right there when I'm on the go. And it's really handy. Um, you know, again, I don't enter information that much using my iPhone. It's just easier to do it on the iPad. But, you know, since everything syncs up, uh, you're just good to go. And that's how I use the Contacts app. 
You know, lastly is the email app. I'm just not a fan of email. I, I've gotten email for years and years and years, and those of you who are watching this video, probably the same thing. It's kind of the bane of our existence, and I've learned how to block emails and, you know, receive emails from only people that I want to receive them from and that kind of stuff. But I do need to get emails, and so it's one of the five apps that helps me stay productive. I keep it down in the dock. I use Apple's Mail app, and, you know, I just keep it down here. And, of course, it tells me I've used over 50% of my iCloud storage, so it wants me to buy some more. But I just keep it there, and likewise, I keep it over here. And if you'll notice on the iPhone, I, the iPhone for me is a, really a communication device. So I keep my phone and messages up here, but I keep email here too because I get so much email that I need to keep, sort of keep track of it and stay on top of it. So it actually stays uh, in the dock down here. The other apps that I use for productivity reside over on the other screen right there in the widget section. But email is on here, and of course everything just syncs up between the two iPads, and it's just a handy way to keep track of stuff. You know, in the end, you know, there's a whole lot of ways that you can put workflows together, but for me, notes, calendar, reminders, contacts, and mail are the five that keep me focused. There are literally thousands of apps that you can buy um, in the App Store to do all of this stuff, but those five just seem to take care of it for me. And that's just the way I keep it simple. I try not to complicate anything, and it just makes using my technology that much easier. Well, there it is, my simple productivity system. It keeps me on track without a lot of work. I hope this video gets you thinking about your workflows. Keeping it simple is, at least for me, key to using it. Well, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.